welcome back to the build. Today I'm going to continue with the wiring. I need to get the wiring installed for the steering wheel buttons using this 12 core curly coil. First things first, I need to extend the curly coil so it can reach all the way back to the relays. This means I'll extend the back of the wires from the curly coil so they're detachable. To get started, I need to expose the wires on the back here. I will use 2.8mm small spay terminals. Less than an hour in, I already have a souvenir.
before I get this back in the car, I will just explain briefly what I have done. I did leave the camera on slow motion mode again. The dialogue that explains the steps as I went along is missing. I have extended the wiring of the curly coil, keeping the 12 different colours. These wires are now long enough to reach to the relays in the back of the car. On this end of the curly coil, I trimmed down each wire to the appropriate length for the buttons. These 90 degree terminals are soldered to the wires and have clear insulator rubbers on them. If you can see where the individual wires come out of the curly coil, I have left some heat shrink off so I can see which colour wire goes to which switch. I have utilised the brake line fittings that fit nicely around the curly coil. It's held to the boss in two places, making it very secure. Next, I need to decide where the wiring is going to be mounted under the column. I figured it could just go under the ignition barrel. I'm just going to tap this existing hole out to M6 by one. Now I will try and simulate a couple of rotations on the steering wheel. As long as there is nothing sharp for it to catch on, it should work fine. Along the top of the tunnel here is going to be the main run of the electrics. The larger live power cable that goes up to the starter and the isolator will be in this area too. So for now I'm just going to cable tie it loosely in place as I add more and more wires to the system. In order to get any circuit testing underway I need some power. This battery has been left as it was when it came with the car over two years ago. Should be fine for testing the circuits. I now need to find a good point for the main earth that comes from the battery. I can utilise this stud which is close to the battery. All I have to do is just scrape the paint off. I have dug out the original Subaru negative battery connector. If I bore the ring terminal out slightly, it will fit straight on the car. You can see how overly long this cable is. I will cut all of the excess off and rejoin it on the battery side. That's it for another episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you very soon.